So if you're in business, you might have heard about BNI or Business Networking International. It's pretty big and it's all over the world, but is it a scam or is it worth looking into? In this video, I want to share my experiences in being a BNI member for over two years now and what it's done for me and my business. Hey everyone, I'm Joseph. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, I run a small video production business out of Brisbane in Australia. And on this channel, I want to document my journey in building this business and some of the lessons that I've learned and I'm continuing to learn along the way. And so in this video, as mentioned, I specifically want to talk about BNI because maybe you've heard about it, maybe you haven't. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a sense of whether it's something that's worth you looking into or not. So when I first moved to Brisbane in 2019, I moved to a brand new city and I didn't know anybody outside of the family that I had living at the time. So I had to build an entirely new network around me and start to build relationships from day one. And that's quite a daunting task if you've ever moved to a new city and if you don't know anyone, trying to plug yourself into a whole new series of communities is quite tricky. And so for the first couple of months, it was honestly quite a struggle doing this, apart from being involved in church, which was really awesome, and having some family around, it was really tricky trying to connect. I tried to connect with people via Instagram and reach out there on social media, and I made some connections, but it wasn't really bearing a whole lot of fruit within my freelance business at the time. And then I got invited to join this meeting there was a friend of mine who ran a video business at the time and he invited me along to join him and check out this meeting. It was quite early in the morning around 6.30 a.m. and we had to drive about an hour away. And he said to me, this is something I do every week and it's worth coming along to and checking out because there's a whole bunch of business owners in this room and basically all you need to know, or to me, all I need to know is how to introduce myself briefly and tell people what I did and network or whatever that meant at the time because I'd never really attended any networking events up till that point. Yesterday I uh, had my first ever experience uh, visiting a networking group uh, and this particular one is a part of BNI which is Business Network International I believe and uh, very fancy and very very professional and I was very impressed by just being in a room with 30 to 40 other business owners and literally being the one with the least experience in the room and listening to how they all networked together and how it was set up properly to encourage business to rotate within that group. So for me, the benefit of that, if I join this group, um, is going to be that it's almost like a shortcut to knowing business people who probably need your services. because. The thing is, in one any one chapter of a BNI group, in any BNI chapter, there can only be one person providing uh, a specialty. So, if I was to join a group, I would be the only videographer allowed, unless I was, unless I left that chapter or I was removed from that chapter. I would be the only one. It's something that I feel might be an untapped way that videographers can get work and can network really quickly and also even just basically get thrown into the deep end of networking and it's almost like a hack in a way of getting business and meeting people in business already who were looking to collaborate and to you know give each other their services so i'll keep you guys updated on how that goes but that's the new opportunity that i'm pondering it's a pretty hefty investment as someone who's just starting out for a yearly membership there is um you know about about two thousand plus dollars involved uh over the course of the year for fees and and stuff so that's not cheap but the idea is that if you get one piece of business through the group it kind of justifies itself you know what i mean or you can basically earn it back plus you're making an actual network plus it's uh very structured but then also you, you commit to attending every week. It's very strict by the sounds of it. And meetings seem to run very well. And I almost wanted to sign there and then, but I had to think about it and I had to go, you know what? I need a bit of time. I 
I need to process what this all is, what this means. And so I took it home, drove an hour home. And to be honest, that was a big decision factor in why I didn't join that b &I chapter. It was an hour away from where I lived and all of the businesses were far north and I lived on the south side. And so they followed me up, but I didn't end up joining. And a couple months went by and I decided, hey, I should try and visit another one because I'd heard there are many chapters or many of these groups around the city. So I visited another one. I visited one in the city, in the CBD. And on the website, I looked and saw that they had the highest thank you for closed business within their group in the whole region. So I said, hey, I want to check this place out. And I turned up and it was a, another great group by the looks of it, a lot of suits and ties. Quickly found out there was a lot of lawyers in there who worked in the city. Long story short, I didn't end up joining that one either, but I made one connection out of there, out of that meeting. Well, I didn't even get to meet him at the time but it turns out that he ran a marketing agency and was looking for a videographer to partner up with. And again, long story short, we've been working, partnering with them for the past two years as well, and I didn't even join their chapter. Near the end of 2019, I thought, man, I really need to do something to make kickstart this freelancing thing because work isn't coming in nearly as much as I thought it should be. And so I thought, hey, why don't I give this a shot? So I looked up online again and tried to find another group that seemed friendly enough or seemed that it wasn't too intimidating like the suits and ties I'd just been with a couple months prior and that didn't have a video production person in so I could slip in, so I could fit in there. Found another chapter closer to where I live and I've been there for over two years and I'm going to continue to stay there as long as I feel like it's a good fit for me and my business. But at this point in time, I would have to say it is one of the best decisions, if not the best decision that I've made since starting my video business, professionally and personally. And here's a few reasons why it's worked for me. Number one is that it's been around for almost 40 years as an organization globally. And what they've essentially done is figured out how to systemize networking at scale and data to back the decisions that are made and the reasons why things are. Language, a lot of expectation on that it looks like there is on the outset, but really what that actually is and when it comes down to it is systems that work within networking. So if you do spend time one-on-one -on -one with people, then it does generally lead to building trust and relationships and passing business between people. Referrals, come naturally as a result of knowing, liking, and trusting people. Things like that where you get to actually build a network of people that you see on a weekly basis, if not more. If you are all competent business owners that get along and have potential to collaborate or to send business to each other, it just works, it makes sense. I've found now that I'm also involved in other, other groups that aren't the same as BNI, other support groups, other different gatherings where business owners meet, I've learned that at the end of the day, BNI is the only one that knows how to systemize the data of networking, systemize relationships to a degree. The number two thing I've found is it's important to find a group that you feel comfortable with. So like I said, in my own journey, it didn't work for the first two chapters or groups that I visited because number one, the first one was too far away. And number two, I didn't feel like I could fit within this group. It didn't seem like people that I could naturally mesh with. I felt a bit intimidated, especially as the stage of business that I was at the time, which was non-existent. <laughs> but the group that I'm currently in, I get along well with. I've built good relationships. It's a good vibe that I felt comfortable to be around. Because remember, if you join a BNI, then yes, you do have to turn up every week or you should or you do need to find a substitute in order to represent your business but it is important to have visibility within a group to build trust with people and it is easier to turn up to something every week if you do feel comfortable around those people so there are multiple depending on where you live there will be multiple chapters or groups that gather and it's worth checking out different ones at a time in theory you're only supposed to visit a chapter twice before joining or make a decision Decision about joining so it's worth checking out a few just to see how the fit is or if you're actually feeling like you're comfortable to meet there every single week because it is a commitment the number three lesson I've learned about BNI is that it's not about selling to the room it's about selling to the people in everyone's network so on average people will have at least 
I don't know what the number is, but at least 150 relationships per person in a room. So you have opportunity to allow people who all run businesses, who all see people on a very regular basis and are all selling to their own customers, you have the ability to be the forefront in their mind of your service. So for me, it's video production. I have the opportunity to be the first person that comes to mind when anything that triggers the thought of video or creating video, social media video, business video, I have the opportunity in how I pitch my business or how I spend time building relationships to sell to people beyond who is in the room. So yes, people do use the services of each other. So for example, my accountant, my bookkeeper, my mechanic, my mortgage broker, they're all in my b and chapter. And that's become possible because of the trust we've built and the relationships we've had, that I do trust what they do. And yes, that's gonna happen, but the intent isn't actually to sit in a room and pitch every single person on why they should use you themselves. It's to educate them on how they can sell you and your services to people outside of the room in their own networks. If people are coming through their shop and they hear things that can lead to them saying, hey, you should talk to this person because they can help you. And then they can refer you work that way. It's important to go in with that mindset that it's actually not about selling directly to whoever's in the room necessarily, but just teaching them how to pass your name on and how to make it an easy referral to you. And again, that comes by relationship building. The referrals that come within a referral networking group should come as a result of solid relationships in that group. It should come genuinely because someone knows you, likes you, trusts you, knows that you're going to deliver and you're going to follow up and do all the things as a professional business operator. So you shouldn't ever go into a BNI or you shouldn't join a BNI with the intent on of getting referrals. It's in the core values statements of BNI that it's givers gain, which is basically that it's a biblical principle. It is more blessed to give than to receive. It's actually a great principle. And so if you if you do want to join a BNI, then it's important to understand that you should be out there making relationships first and then ex not expecting referrals to come to you just because you've turned up or just because you've joined a chapter. That's just not how actual business works. It doesn't make sense for there to be a group where just because you have joined it and you're a landscaper, that by default people need to refer their work to you. That's not really how the world works. You refer to people that you know, like, and trust. And that's what it takes to successfully join a BNI and get value out of it. The last benefit that I've found or the last reason that I think BNI isn't a scam is because it's just genuinely been a huge personal and professional development method for me. It's been something that I've seen a lot of personal growth in being able to stand up every single week and pitch my business, talk in front of a group of people about what I do. And then every six months or so, get the opportunity to present an eight or a 10 minute presentation to the whole room with a PowerPoint. And in my case, some videos because I'm a video production specialist. And so that's been a great opportunity in learning over these last two years, how to actually talk about what I do and present it in a way that people resonate with. Like, not just letting the work speak for itself, but being able to talk about the business. For the first six months, no joke, I'll be sweating, waking up early, stressing out about the 60 seconds that I had to speak about what I did, because every week you have to speak and you have to present a pitch about your business and present, you know, talk about who your ideal referral is so people know who to keep an ear out for and direct your work. And no joke, I would just be freaking out until it was my turn to speak for the first six months. And this was also because I really didn't know how to run a business at all. I mean, I'm still learning, <laughs> but I felt like I was a complete imposter, just didn't know what to say, how to say it. But I've been learning and have improved over time what it takes to stand up in front of a group of people and talk really briefly about your value proposition and the things that you do. It's so valuable to be able to be able to do that off the cuff essentially and I still I still am nervous and I still take time to craft what it is because I feel like it's valuable time. It's my time. I'm getting up and spending one, two, three hours on a Friday morning that my, my time is worth something so I need to make the most of it. 
but also just getting those opportunities that are awesome to be able to spend eight to 10 minutes actually educating people with a presentation and developing public speaking abilities and answering questions off the cuff and some other really cool opportunities that have come up to present to you the broader, in my case, the broader Brisbane community via Zoom and via other platforms where I've been invited to speak so far. None of those opportunities I feel would have come up without me being part of a b &I. And honestly, the brain's trust in the room, let's, let's call this the final thought for now, but if it's a good group, and in my case, it's, my group is great, is it's a huge brain's trust of experience and knowledge and wisdom in all facets of business. I can look around the room in my, my own chapter and, and I've learned and continue to learn so much from many different people just in observing how they run their businesses. There's people there who are sole operators, there's people there with up to 20 staff and all me measures in between, all different types of industries. And because I've learned that principles are so important and you can learn anything from anyone, just being able to be in a room with that much knowledge and experience and being so personally being so young comparatively in, in business and in life, I get to sit there every week and just learn. It's so good and having direct access because of the relationships, having direct access to people, knowing that I can at the drop of a hat send a text or make a phone call that other people would have to book to make that same appointment. But these people, because we're, we get along and we're, we, we're business friends, we have that relationship now, I can I have access to these people, then that's priceless, you know? Like some of these people in my group and in all sorts of these groups around the world are very influential and they have huge circles of influence themselves. And if you can make the right relationships with some of these people, it can be absolutely game changing for you and your business. When I freaked out about that first fee a couple of years ago, it took me a while. It took me almost six to eight months to make a decision to actually join one. And it took a while to get that money back in terms of how I learned how to be a business operator and actually make money outside of BNO. But that return on investment since has been been too much. I can't like I, I do have numbers on it about the membership fees, but in relation to what kind of business has come through as a result, it's been multiplied several, several times. But also the fact that I have learnt and grown as a business operator and I'm continually surrounded by a brain's trust of experience and I do this every week. It's a habit. It's a habit building exercise to get up consistently every single week early in the morning and get ready to speak and network and talk and be a good kind person in business. That's been priceless, you know. Consistency is another thing. It forces you to forces you every week to make sure that you turn up and it's just good business practice it's just good operating principles to be successful in small or medium business or of any scale to be honest but it's not for everyone it's not for everyone you have to be able to figure out if your time is worth investing every single week some people have left because they decided that the investment in time didn't make sense for them that they could find more business or do better things with the time they spend and that's their own prerogative you know people have to measure their own time themselves for me personally i found especially as someone who's operating been operating for only in going to my fourth year next year so fairly early on i found it priceless i found the investment quite game-changing quite a no-brainer when it has come down to it again not just in revenue and numbers of business but also in relationships and in growth and development as not and again not just a business operator but a person so yeah it's worked for me and it's not going to work for everyone there's definitely some businesses where it's a little tricky to actually get business out of the room or even selling to other people's networks and again that's on a case-by-case -case basis you know if your business works by knowing people who can refer you work which is most and you feel like it's enough of a time investment for a few hours a week of networking intentionally and presenting your business to people every every week is a good investment of time, then it'll work. It will work if you let it. If you do what you need to do, again, there's commitment involved and there is 
I guess, call it KPIs. But again, it comes down to the fact that they've systemized networking to where it's data-driven. Certain actions will lead to results. Networking correctly will lead to actual business. And so yeah, I would encourage you to look into it for yourself and just go visit a chapter. So my business, Brown Fox Media House, has actually created a video for our local BNI region and it's three minutes long. Might give you an idea as well of whether it's a worthwhile thing for you to check out and I'll put a link into the video description below where you can watch that as well. And maybe it'll help you to make an educated or a more educated decision on whether BNI is right for you or not. Not every group is the same, so it's, you have to find one that looks like it'll work for you and fit you well and you feel comfortable with and is actually driving business with each other and a good fit and is building good relationships. But the formula, if you want to call it that, it works. So, I mean, I can't say it doesn't work. It's been the backbone of my business over the last two to three years and I feel like it can be that for a lot of people. So if you have any other specific questions or things you'd like to know about my experience or any other things that I can help you with within networking or BNI in particular, feel free to reach out, feel free to comment below. And I look forward to making more videos about networking and about running a small business and a video production business of that going forward. And I'll see you guys and girls on the next one. Bye.